I got some new staff going on here. Yeah, I'm alive, exactly. The fine gentleman at uh, Windspear and also aided by uh, chat legend fucking Corey Allgood here. And some people on the Discord, they sent me from Windspear some, uh, some crazy pics. This one is like a super thick, like, tapered pick, dude. Stay Tex, which has many meanings. One, it has to do with some terrifying joke, some awful meme, but, oh, Colin, okay, well, th okay, well, I don't know if he's here, but I haven't talked to Colin for a while. I appreciate it. These are very sweet. Uh, and then I got a few of the other ones that he put out. It's a Cytotoxin one, an Evil one, and then this, whoops, this Windspear one, and they're very thick, dude. Um, oh, Colin, dude, what's up, buddy? We're gonna hear what they sound like. And I'm excited about it. Yeah, they are pretty sick. We got them in the mail, so thank you guys. And then, like, I went to go grab the package that they were in, and uh, half of them were missing, and I was like, what the fuck? And Claire just, just took half of them. So I was like, uh oh. <laughs> So I guess it's what happens when you play guitar and your wife or significant other also plays guitar is that they just steal all your shit. So, uh, so I'm f just I'm just fuming right now. Yeah, that versus uh, my regular pick. Has some different low end. I, I gotta say, a bigger pick, if anybody here is like kind of trying to figure out what kind of pick to play, a bigger pick sounds better. Just uh, always. Like it just sounds better. Here's a big thin pick. Uh, so let's see, I'll play. pick a big thin pick i honestly think and we're doing like a 0.88 tortex uh versus this uh wind spear statex versus the uh the tortex 1.5 jazz 3 style um the my favorite sounding is the big green guy the big greenman green gator dunlops of the business yeah that's it this is actually what we i think we tracked a lot of the album on is something similar to this i think it was this one this uh green tortex 0.88 millimeter I think something similar to it, but I did all the solos or some of the solos on just like a regular jazz three 1.5 millimeters. Uh, you know, the, you know, it's funny cause I have a state tech and a state text now. It's, it's just madness. That's what that is. It's, uh, it's madness. It's lunacy. It's madness. The big green men are, uh, are pretty hard to beat, honestly. Big thin one sounds better for uh, high, for the low E. I think you're right. And also, like I said, the, my guitar strings right now are, are old. So, 
I, I gotta change them up. And once I do, everything will sound fucking better. This is cool, dude. It's like a pizza slice. It's like tapered. It's it's pretty interesting. I like it. Yeah, I mean the and for comfort, a tiny like a little guy like this, the 1.5 mil uh, Jazz Three. I actually switched back to these because I, I was using the big green guys for everything, and I found my right hand. I mean, when you're playing such fast music and you're like trying to keep up everything and trying to move the, l the least amount, it doesn't behoove you to use a bigger pick for um, endurance. It's just, it's just not like the music that I'm playing just doesn't make sense with a big, big thinner pick uh, live in the studio. It absolutely, a hundred percent does, but not live. It doesn't do it for me. It's too much. My right hand, I found my right hand really, especially for the new stuff that we wrote, it's like the new stuff is just like, my right hand was burning at the end of every song. I'm like, I don't think it should be like that. It still does because there are new songs, but I was like, I was like, you know, bummed out about it. I was a little bit worried actually. I was like, can I not play this fucking music? But yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. This one is like a real thick, this evil, evil one. That's a Windspear pick. And it feels like, it feels like a one a one millimeter or just a little bit thicker. Uh, this guy here, it's like a translucent kind of guy. It definitely has some bend to it. Consider wind spear. Yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, that's a good idea. I like it. It's it's nice to have like a, a a bunch of selections of picks around, especially when you like track demos and stuff. Um, like when we're tracking demos for the new material, when we start writing another album, it'll be nice to have a big collection of different size picks and different thicknesses. 